American. Sir. Legend shit! Spineless, despicable, nitwitted little man! That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Token for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access, no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Could you be a darling and go and have a look? I need a private word with Patrick. Could you please leave us for a minute? A private word? Really? I don't think so. I can get you fired, I just need to snap my fingers. Now, get your fat ass out to my car and find that lighter. Please. His motion was rejected. I am so sick of this. Ugh, I don't need this. <clears throat> Good job, 47. You now have both tokens needed for us to get the file on Arthur Edwards from the London Vault. Kind of Time to take care of Alexa moved. Carlyle. That's what it is. Making us come here to play fun- Huh? Oh, something just um, crawled inside of me and died. Oh, I need to- uh, God, I feel oh. sick. What was that sound? Really? I just...
That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. <laughs> Madame Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madame Carlyle. He's in a right state. So unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. Madame Carlyle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow, and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? You feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? Safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's ready for Madden. I need to know if you sign some sort of non disclosure What was that noise? I need to know if you I mean, how does Madame Carlyle make absolutely sure you and your little friend are running your mouths off at the little puppy? <laughs> so fucked was this, Madame Carlyle? Damn it! Damn it! Damn birds! If I could just get a clear hit on those nests. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Finally, the birds are gone. I'll just run through everything for calling it. Carl, hold on. I am ready to show Madame Carlyle the funeral arrangements. You got rid of the birds? Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Mr. Parsons is ready to see Madame Carlyle. Thank you for coming. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madame Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow.
I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died. Most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. No. I prefer to keep it simple. And the gravestone. Granite. Solid. No fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons, I approve. Yes, it will mark your grave beautifully. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very unfit for these historical surroundings. This is my ancestral burial ground. Simple and clean is how we've always gone about it, and how it will be this time as well. And the flowers, they look more fit for a wedding than my funeral. Maybe something natural fitting the season and local fauna. Surely you're capable of figuring something out that doesn't look so misplaced. That's all, Mr. Parsons. I have other things to attend to. Huh? <laughs> Mission complete. Well done, 47. Where's Madame Carla? She needed a rest. Finally, the birds are gone. Yeah, keep it real. You've got to be kidding me. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground.
Mission complete. Well done, 47. Bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. So, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. She expects the family photo to be done any moment now. Oh, I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it perfect. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedling yesterday. Sounds like the power's back up. Why don't you take a picture to test it? It works. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now, then. Excellent, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera. Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? I'm the youngest. Guess I just flew under the radar when it came to her attention. 
I don't think so. She really respects you. If you just stopped craving her approval, you're nearly 50, Edward. I know. I'm such a loser. Down by the fountain. But you're not. You're a professor, you're artistic, you've got your music. I mean, that's really something. It's not exactly expanding the Carlisle Empire, though. But thanks. That does help a little. Hi, good afternoon. We should hurry up. This place is sucking the life out of me. It won't hurt you to relax for a bit. It's just in front of the fountain. I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nose wreck. Stop bickering. Well, Mother, you certainly know how to lighten the mood. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Green Thumb. Nice job out there. Finally! All set up. Uh, will you let the family know, please? Perfect. They'll be right down. How are you doing, Patrick? Can't wait for this weekend to end. You know, you're witnessing something quite special. Your grandmother putting on such a show. How exciting. Wish I didn't have to perform. It's such a joke with the whole fake funeral tomorrow. It is, isn't it? It won't last, though. My mother will have things back in order in no time. And that's what she does. Create precise order in all her affairs, never letting go into the least touch her. Uh, this is not the best time. Right on, uh, We can set up a meeting. Tuesday, perhaps? Thank you, no. I have a lot to see to. Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. Patrick.
contact token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. Patrick is giving you a really hard time. You just That's a token for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Down by the fountain. I expect you to be quick about the shoot. I have a lot to do today. Everything is set up and ready to go. I guarantee you'll, you'll be happy with the result. Excellent, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way to... Brian, you look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. What? Man, this one looks like That's now. Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. You in some kind of accident? Stay put, I'll be back. Bloody hell! No. Oh, come on, I am so not in the mood for this today. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Hear me. That's a token okay? for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Who carries the other one, I wonder? That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Mission complete. Well done, 47. 